What's up everybody? My name is Alex and I'm from Dive Design and today we're going to be reviewing the Dremel DigiLab 3D45 3D printer. Okay, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the out of box experience because it was excellent. My favorite part of this whole thing. In three minutes we had it out of the box, all the containers and all the packages out, and in five minutes we had this thing up and running and ready to print. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what came in the box now. Okay, so Dremel sets you up with everything that you need to get this printer going. They give you two rolls of filament, two glue sticks, USB cable to hook up to your computer, quick start guide, owner's manual, extruder head cleaning tip, and the scraper. Okay, so now I'm gonna tell you how to set up the printer and get printing. You're gonna turn it to the left-hand side, so you see the dial over here. You're gonna turn the dial counterclockwise, just like that, pull this off, turn it to the side, and take the filament of your choice and we're gonna load it in. You're gonna see the little white tube here, and you're gonna run this piece of filament at the end of it through this white tube, just like that. And just feed it as much as you can until you see it pop out the top up there. Once you do that, you're gonna put this gently on here, put it right onto the spindle, just like that. You're gonna take the cover, you're gonna put the cover back on, and you're gonna turn it clockwise. So we're gonna come over to filament, change filament, and if you have filament loaded already, it's gonna ask you to cut the filament. We don't, so we're gonna go ahead and skip that step. It's now heating up, as you can see, and once it reaches 230, it's gonna begin extruding. So now you can hear the extruder head extruding. We're gonna pull the filament up, we're gonna run it through this top piece here, and then run it into the head here. You're gonna hold on to it a second, and you're gonna to start to feel it pull. Once you do that, you can let go. Okay, so then we come to this. We've already fed it in. Now you can see the filaments extruding from the bottom of the head and we can move on to the next screen. We're going to click done. It's now detecting which filament is inside. And once it does that, we'll be all set to go. Okay, so since it's October, I'm going to use Thingiverse to print us a little geared pumpkin for festivity reasons. So once you're on Thingiverse, you're going to come over here and you're going to click on download all files. Okay, so now that we've clicked download all files, we're going to come down here to the download bar and we're going to click on the gear pumpkin. I've already got it open, so we're going to slide over here and we're going to click on pumpkin all gears and this is going to open in the Dremel software. We've laid it out, we're all set to go. We can come over here, select our settings. I'm going to go to the recommended settings. We're going to go 20% infill, we're going to generate support, and we're going to do medium quality. Once you've done that, it's going to automatically start slicing if you've got that option selected, which I do. If you don't, you'll have to click Slice, and that's the process we're seeing right now. Okay, now that it's done slicing, we're going to go down to Save to File. We're going to insert the provided USB drive from Dremel, and we're going to go ahead and save it to that. Once we do that, we'll be all set to take it over to the 3D printer and insert it. Okay, so now that the printer's on, we're going to go ahead and insert our USB drive down in the bottom right here, just like that. Then we're going to go ahead and click on Build, our USB drive, and our most recent file is right here, Pumpkin Gears. So we're going to select that. It's going to take 8 hours and 9 minutes to complete. It's going to show us the nozzle temp it wants to be at, the platform temp, and we're going to go ahead and click Build. So right now it's copying the file from the USB drive. Okay, so now it's preheating the bed and the extruder. We're gonna open up the door and we're gonna watch how the auto level works. This is the, one of the coolest parts. So it's gonna raise the bed all the way up and you're gonna see the little tiny sensor here touch the bed. And that's how it's gonna know where to level. So now it's moved over to the left hand side here to heat up. We're gonna close the door and we can watch how this heats up. So while the bed and the extruder are heating up, we're gonna go ahead and take our glue stick and just run it along the surface of the bed here. So when the extruder starts printing, it sticks to the platform. 